Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. This is another video on Verilog course. In this video, we are going to attend our first practical lab session on HDL Bits website. As I already requested you in our previous video that you need to create a login into this website and whatever experiment I execute at my end, you should execute it at your end also. Now I'm going to tell you how to open this HDL Bits website and how to create login. And now without wasting much time, let us get started. To open HDL Bits website, you simply have to type HDL Bits on Google and just press enter. You need to open this first link, HDL Bits. Here I already has created my login. So it is showing technical bytes profile. Otherwise you have to create your login ID and then you have to log in here. Now I'm directly opening the problem sets, browse problem set. So here I will go through all each and every statement, whether it is simple or complex. So first is getting started. Let me open getting started. In this getting started, they are just telling that for compilation, they are using quarters. Quarters is from Intel and for simulations, they are using model sim. It comes from mentor graphics. And in the final status, they give us four type of messages. One is compilation error in case compilation failed. Simulation error if simulation is not successful. If both are passed in case our function functionality of the design is different from expected one, then it can give incorrect. And if everything is well, then it will give us circuit was correct. Now let us read our first problem statement. The first problem statement is we have to build a circuit with no inputs and one output. The output should be always one. Now this is module declaration, module, top module, output one. But we have to complete it here. So this is very, very simple. Here they have written fix me. Output is one bit. So I will write one tick B1 because output is fixed one. Let me submit it. It will do compilation and simulation. Then let us know what are the results. We have to wait a little bit. See, this is reference output is one. This is our design output is one. So mismatch is zero. And here status is success. You have solved one problem. Friends, now let us take our next problem statement. Then you have to scroll down. Here either you can go to the index again or you can press on this arrow. Let me press on this arrow. See, it came to the next problem statement. Let us see what is our problem statement. Here we have to build a circuit with no inputs and one output and the output is a constant zero. So again, it is similar only and just for our practice. So here what I will do, assign zero is equal to one tick B zero. Let me submit it. It's compiling. Compilation is done. Now it will start simulation. Again, it is success. No mismatch reference output and our output are matching. Friends, here I want to read something very important for you. Let me go at the top where the problem statement was given. So here is a note actually. HDL bits uses Verilog 2001. Port declaration syntax because it's easier to read and reduces typos. But you may use older Verilog 1995 syntax also if you wish. For example, two module declarations below are acceptable and equivalent. So basically module declaration can be done in two ways. The first method is where we write the module name, then input output ports. But we don't tell that whether it is input or output. We just give the names. Then we close the brackets. Then after closing the brackets, we write that this is output, output zero. 
but in other type of declaration we type the module name and in this brackets only before this variable name we are writing output so no need to write after the brackets so both are acceptable the first one was included in Verilog 1995 and the next one is included in Verilog 2001 so this one reduces the size and errors but even 1995 declarations are also accepted you can use anyone wherever you feel comfortable friends let us close this video here only in this video we learn the flow with simple examples and in the next video we will proceed towards the next challenges if you like this video please press the like button and you can share your feedback in the comment section and in future also we are going to create many such videos so to be aligned with our channel don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos thank you so much for watching and your support